Hi everybody, well it's just turned uh, 7 p.m. My name's Alan Platt, Global Power Affiliate, proud to be with the shopping Sherlock. We're going to get started now. This is a, a generic team training. It's just a, a handful of people who've been invited onto this invitational only training. Uh, it's mainly the group that's growing out of the Bedford line with Matt Sunil and many other great people. Now what I want to try and do today is help everybody, one, see a bigger picture, two, know how to get people started correctly so everybody can get the best out of the opportunity. It's, and the great thing about this is this is global. Although this is an invitational uh, training just for a, a key select group of people, you know, we can be doing this all around the world. And the powerful thing about the internet, you could be sat wherever you're based now listening to a training like this. You, know, you could be in the UK, which is great, but you could have people in Sweden, in Norway, in Asia, parts of Africa, worldwide, listening to a training over the internet. Now, obviously, the shopping Sherlock right now is absolutely booming. And what I want to do is really help people understand the best way to get people started correctly. Now, we all know if this is kind of a team training, so we all know when you join, you click on Become a Distributor, and then you complete your form, and then you become an affiliate with the shopping Sherlock, and then you can start building your business as well. But it's really important to make sure that once you've joined, you work what we call the system. And the first part of the system is really knowing how to set a new team member up correctly. So what I want you to do, guys and girls, I want you to grab a pen and a piece of paper if you haven't already got one, and make some notes. Make copious notes of what I'm going to cover with you today. And what we're going to do, once I've finished speaking after a while, I'm going to just invite people to uh, ask some questions. You can be able to type questions into me. I'll cover as many as I can. So if you get a question, just make a little note. And if there's anything specific you guys want me to work with you, that's fine. Let's try and cover it tonight because the great thing here is we've got what we call leverage. There's lots and lots and lots of people watching this presentation. But I only need to do it once. So the great thing is not only do I only do it once, you can watch it time and time and time again because I'm going to make sure you've all got a link so you can see a recording of this. We don't record them all, but I'm going to record this one for you. Now, firstly, when someone joins, it is so important to make sure straight away that they set up their auto ship payment. That's the monthly payment of $34.95. So once you've logged in, you go into your back office, get that monthly fee set straight away. Don't delay. Don't think I'm going to do that tomorrow because if you're off auto ship, you don't earn. If you're off auto ship, if people drop underneath you, they don't go to your earning potential. So it's so important to keep that auto ship on all the time. Not just here and there, it has to stay on every day. And bear in mind, you only get billed once a month. Well, if you're coming off auto ship, you could be losing money. So auto ship is so, so important because it's basically, that's your business costs, your overhead. It keeps the websites linked to you, it keeps the apps, everything, all the training, the support, the tracking, the global business, everything you need to do to build the shopping Sherlock, you get for $34.95. That is, in my opinion, absolutely phenomenal. Think about that. I'm based in the UK. I've got a global business for 75 pence a day. A global business I can earn from the internet, many different time zones for about the price of a Twix. Let's put this in perspective. What we've got is an amazing value with a company, The Shopping Sherlock. So authorship is so, so important to make sure you stay on that so you don't flush that value away, so you don't lose income that you're generating. So make sure you're always on authorship and never, ever, ever come off it. Take that commitment to build this business long term. So once someone's got their authorship set, Again, it's all about understanding, about getting into the information loop as well. So when you join, your sponsor should send you a welcome email with a list of things to do. So that keeps it simple. So if you've not got a welcome email yet from your sponsor, have a word with them and tell them to get theirs off theirs and you duplicate it. You just change you know, the details on there. So for example, if I introduce someone, I send them a welcome email and I just tell them to change their name instead of mine. And then so when they sponsor them, they just forward it on. So it's like got all the quick start guides and everything on there. So welcome emails are important, it's making sure people are in the loop because one of the things that the welcome email has is telling people to join on this, this particular site. And if you've not got 
registered on this yet, do it straight after this presentation. Make a note of it now. It's www.simonbrooks.info. That's www.simonbrooks.info. And what that's going to do is it's going to drop you into Simon's site. There's Simon and Julie in front of their property in Formbit. Now, obviously, Simon and Julie are the number one owners in the world. They're in your team, and you're in their team. That's the powerful thing. These guys will support you build a global business. So basically, all you do, you click there to be added, and then you put your details in. And remember, your global upline is me. That's me, Alan Platt. So make sure you put my name in, because then you will get into the email loop. And you'll get all the information of, about the events and everything that's happening. So again, that is really key to enable people to succeed in building the business. But one of the other things that you know is really important to do as you're building the business is literally start it off correctly. So here we go. What I want to do is explain the importance of positioning within the business. So when you first come on board, you've got your own business system. So imagine if someone just joins today, let's say it's this green chap here, and let's say it's called you. So that's you there, you've just joined today. Now we build a binary plan. And the binary simply stands for two, binary. We're building two teams. We're building a left team down here, and we're building a right team down here. Okay, so what we recommend as a strategy, and this is really important to try and keep to and duplicate the best you can. Now, every now and again, you know, people will, may go into a different line, but it's not hugely negative for that person, but it's better for everybody as a team if you, if you really duplicate what I'm going to show you right now. So imagine if you just joined, but in this example here, say you join one of your friends on your right leg. Okay, so you're sponsoring your first person on your right leg, which is what you would do if you're in the right leg of your sponsor. Now let's talk about this gentleman here now. So you sponsored somebody here. So his first person, he wants a sponsor on the same side he shares with his upline. So if you're his upline, he's in your right team. So his first person goes in his right team. Then he switches and then puts his second person in his left team. So if you think what's happened now, you sponsored one, He's done the correct system. He's put his first person in on his right side. And then this person put his second in his left team. Now let's talk about these two people here now. This person is in this person's right team. Yeah. So his first person he needs to put in his left, sorry, in his right team here. And his second person needs to go in his left. But this guy here is in this person's left team. So the first person he needs to join needs to go in his left business, and then his second goes in his right. Because by doing that, what you're going to create is one strong, strong line. Then everybody does what we call cutting in and just builds what is their smaller leg, generally. Now, but you'd never know which leg's going to go quicker than another. So the principle here is the first person you sponsor, when you join, you put in the same side that you share with your upline. So if your upline puts you in his right leg, the first person you join goes in your right and the second goes in your left. If your upline is up here and puts you in his left team, the first person you join, you put in your left team and then the second goes in your right. Because think about this. Imagine if somebody just joins here yeah, and you're on the same side you share with your upline. You put this person in. Then your upline sponsors somebody else. They have to go underneath that person you sponsored. He's going to get excited by going, wow, someone's just dropped in and I've, I've not even sponsored myself. And yes, they go to your earning potential. So the great thing is by building a binary, it really does force people to succeed. But if you build it correctly, it's going to be a lot easier for all in the team to earn more money. It duplicates that way. The top earners in the company all use the system I'm talking to you to now. Simon uses it, Fraser uses it, Serge uses it, I use it. Everybody who uses this system is maximizing their income. If you think you know better and you go slightly different, well, good luck with that. You know, there's a good chance you might not succeed as much as you can do. Give you an example. Imagine you're in the right team of your sponsor. Yeah, so he sponsors you here in the right team. And then he sponsors somebody else underneath you and they sponsor someone. So you might look at that and go, hey, I've got two people on my right, but at the moment you might have none on your left. So if you go and put your first person in your left, you've just gone away from that strategy, if you think about it. 
you still got to put somebody in your right because you can't earn unless you put a minimum of one in each side. So you imagine this. If you sponsored this guy first, then these two people will be in his business. So that makes him quicker for him to earn. So guess what that does for you? Makes it quicker for you to earn. So the idea is first person, the same side you share with your upline. Now, again, you can rewind this once you send the recording out. If you're not clear, speak to your uplines like Sunil, Matt, myself, and then we can kind of move on from there. So what you've got here is a system that if you duplicate will really help you to succeed. Now, the benefit that we have as well with the Shopping Sherlock is with it being global, you could have people dropping in underneath you from different countries. So you can have somebody literally on one country dropping in from, say, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Finland, Philippines, South Africa, Russia, Italy. Because as you start to build your global business, then you can have people dropping underneath you from a different country, even though you might not have personally sponsored those people. So guys, it's really key to set somebody up correctly. Get on the auto ship as quick as you can so you don't lose any income. Get into the information system as quick as you can by making sure your team's got a welcome email and also registering on simonbrooks.info. Then explain the power of building the binary. Okay, and also not just how to build it, make sure they're clear on why they need to build it because then they can duplicate that to people that they introduce and it'll make your life so much easier. And also stress the importance, again, I'm saying it again, about that authorship never to come off it because you're going to lose a fortune. Okay, so that's the best way to get somebody set up. And just think of it, guys, your group here, you're building a real Sherlock dream team right now. You're having great growth, which is fantastic. You've got great leadership. But you know what? The growth will continue if you lock into a coachable system. Now, one of the best ways you can build this business is by talking to people. If you put like a couple of links out there on Facebook and expect to get a load of distributors, well, you know what? You're thinking about it, but it ain't going to work for you. Just because you want it to work doesn't mean it will work. The best way and the people who succeed in this business are the ones who pick up the phone, arrange appointments, meetings, or just put people on the website where they can see the information. So you don't have to explain the whole business yourself. Give you an example. If I want to speak to somebody today, now we're not near a live event yet. There's one coming up real soon, but there's none literally within the next day or so. I want to talk to somebody to get them to see this presentation today. So what I would do is use the first part of our tour. We can cover a few different types of tours, like the three-step system, the webcast, and live events, because we've all got a slightly different invite on how you would do it. So basically me, what I do is, especially when you first join, you write this huge list. So you write a list of every single person you've got a phone number for, and then you write a list of every single person you know that you haven't got a phone number for, and you write a list of every single person that you've got, just say, an email address, or so you can check social media to make connections as well. But the principle here is write a big list. Don't prejudge who you think you're going to do it. So don't think this guy's going to do it. That guy isn't. That guy's going to blow it out the water. That won't do anything, that guy. Think about your level-headed. You're just going to show everyone the information. You let them decide whether they want to do it, and then they will decide what activity they take. Sometimes people you think will fly with this do nothing, and sometimes people you think won't do anything it fly with it. You just don't know. I've seen so many people you know, really try and prejudge people. But the great thing here is we've got a system you can introduce very fast. So imagine if you were on my list, and I've just joined today. Imagine if I knew Matt, and he was one of my first to call. I'd literally pick up the phone, and I'll use Matt as an example, and go, hey, Matt, it's Alan. I've come across something that's absolutely blown me away. You really need this to see this today. Do you have about 20 minutes for me now in front of the computer? Are you near a PC now? And basically, you no, know, he's going to go, whoa, what's Alan on? He seems really excited. And if they start asking me questions, I don't answer them. See, Matt might say, hey, Alan, what, what's it about? You know what? I want you to see what it's about. Are you near a PC now? Well, no, I'm not. Okay, how can, when can you be in front of a PC for sure? It's quarter past seven-ish now. When can you be in front of the PC? He may say, hey, I'm busy at the minute, about half eight. Okay, well, what I do, Matt, is I'm going to give you a call dead on half eight. What I want you to do for me is be in front of the computer and be logged on the internet ready for my call. So if I promise to call you at half eight, you will be on the internet, won't you, Matt? 
and you go, yeah, because obviously he's giving you the time, you go 8 o'clock, whatever the time it is, then you can say, I will call you at that time. So you, all you want to do is get them in front of the computer. And when you get them in front of the computer, you ring them back up and say, hey, you know what I need you to do now is go to this website, give them the name of your website, shopandshow.com, in my case, forward slash 38146, and just tell me when you're there. So Matt say, hey, yeah, yeah, I'm on it. So I'll say, what I want you to do, Matt, is I want you to watch these little videos here and step one and two, and then let's talk. So you're going to be able to get a product for free from step three. But at this stage, I just want you to do this this section here. And that'll take you about 20 minutes. So let me tell, I'll give you a call and say 25 minutes. Just gives you a few minutes extra before I call. Just so you can get some questions ready in your head if you, if you have any. So basically, guys, what I've done there is I've been a tour guide. All I've done is got Matt on my website and said, press play, press play, press play. That's all I need to do. And then after I've seen the presentation, I'll follow up with the call just like I've requested him time to start. I'm then going to call him when I've agreed to call him back after it's finished. So the great thing there is I can then check, have you seen the presentation? So I just go, hey, Matt, Alan, again, as promised, I'm calling. Have you seen all the information? Have you seen the presentation? Has it finished? He'll say yes or no. It's either finished or it hasn't. If it hasn't finished, oh, Matt, something's obviously cropped up. I'll call you back when you've, when you've seen it all. There's no point discussing it until you've seen all the information. When can you have checked it all out? Okay, Alan, yeah, something cropped up. The phone went or someone knocked on the door. Give me another 15 minutes. So I'll call back then. So basically, I'm just rescheduling that appointment. So the purpose for each call for me is to book the next interaction. It's to book the next meeting, to book the next communication with that person. Hopefully, the time between those is as small as possible, ideally there and then on that day. But the great thing there is if Matt says, hey, Alan, yep, yeah, I've seen it all. I'll go, okay, Matt, great. What did you like about it? So I'm asking for a positive question. I'm not saying what did you think. That opens anything. I'm making a suggestive question. What did you like about it? He may say, I love the way it's free. I love the way people can save a fortune. I love the way I can make an obscene amount of money from around the world. I love the way it's internet. I love how I can save money. It doesn't matter what he says. I like all of those. I go, hey, Matt, you know, I love it for that same reason. I see it just how you saw it. Actually, Matt, just hold the line. So then what I'm going to do is do the, one of the most important parts of this talk. So the first bit is giving them a call. Second bit is getting them to watch the presentation. This bit really makes a huge, huge difference to your business. It's called a three-way call. Now, a three-way call is basically where you, you may be speaking to one of your prospects, or you might even be sat next to them if, you, if they're at your house seeing the presentation. It doesn't matter, but the idea is you, you're all together. And then what you do is then you call your upline to answer their questions. So in this example, I've called Matt. He's seen the presentation. I said, Matt, just hold the line. So what I do is I call my, my upline leader, which is Simon Brooks, and I'd add him to the call. I don't ask permission. I don't say, hey, Matt, would you like to speak to somebody? Because he gives him the option to say no. I want to control the exposure because that way I'm showing him the best way for him if he joins. Because then he'll duplicate that. Because people do and say what you show them and say. Now, the great thing here. And say, for example, say, Matt, just hold line. I'm going to have my partner. I'll call Simon. Simon, are you available for a freeway now? I've got somebody. He'll go, yes or no. If he's not available, I'll go, hey, Matt, sorry about that. Someone was on the line. I've told him I'll call back later, something like that. If he is available, I'll just add him to the call and merge the calls. And then make some notes here, guys, because if you're going to do three ways, there's a certain way to do them correctly, and there's a way, many ways to do them wrong. The ones that are done correctly will make you the most money. They'll help your team grow the most. It'll get the people you're showing it the best information. Now, first of all, when you do a three-way call, what you want to do is edify your upline. So give you an example there. I'm calling Matt. Imagine he's the prospect still. I've added my upline to the call. I say, hey, Matt, I've, my business partner's on the line. I've, I've added him to this call. He's called Simon Brooks. He's the number one earner in the world with his company, Shop and Sherlock. He's Diamond Distributor. You know, Simon's absolutely building a huge organization. We're getting great support from him. Yeah, he's a true leader in this business. Now, what I've just done there is by saying that about my upline, I've edified him to your prospect, or in this case, my prospect to Matt. Yep. Yeah? So the thing here is I've edified my upline. 
So if someone's doing a call with Matt, you do the same thing. If someone's doing a call with me, you, you do the same thing. You say, hey, this is my business partner, Alan Platt, global power affiliate. He was actually the fifth so glo global in the whole of the UK and the eighth in the world. He's been building this business from day one, got organizations all around the world. He does the live trainings, the live presentations, and he's a great support for our organization. So what you're doing is you're edifying the person who's doing the three-way for you. And what that does, it gives credibility to the answers that they give to your prospects. So in my case, I'm edifying Simon, which is giving the answers to Matt. Now what you also need to do is tell your upline who the person is you got on the phone. So then I would say, hey, Simon, this is Matt. He's just seen all the presentations. And then I step back. That's all I need to do. I'm not going to say, hey, Simon, this is Matt. He's based in Bedford. We connected this. We did that. We've met him here. Known him for how long? None of that. It's a very quick introduction. And here's why. And this is key to a three-way. Because then the person who's doing the call could do what we call blueprint. They can find out the information about the person. They can find out a little bit more about them, build rapport with that person, because it's important that people get to know people. It's a relationship business. So I'll give you an example. If, if in that exa same example here, if I've invited Simon, I say, Simon, this is Matt. He's seen all the presentations. So I now know Simon knows what he's seen. So I'll say he's seen the videos, he's seen the Sherlock, and he, he's got some questions. So then what I do is I sit back, I put my phone on mute and only talk if I, if I need to talk. Now, the great thing there is now what Simon would do would say things like, hey, Matt, where are you based? Matt say, I'm in Bedford. Oh, we're at Bedford. No, I've been there before. I know people near Bedford. So you know, how do you know Alan? Oh, I know Alan because of X, Y, Z. So obviously if it goes back years, then you can start asking questions about you know previous uh, things you've done together. So Matt, are you in a networking company at the moment? Yeah, I am. What's the company? Is it a global one? You know, is it local? Where's your team based? What sort of team you got? What sort of incomes you generating? You know, and then give him a bit of his background. So what within a few seconds you find out where he lives, what's his experience, what's his background, and how he knows me. Yeah. So the great thing there is that's what we call creating rapport. Now the, also you can then as a as an outline adjust how you handle the call. So if someone says they've been in a health and nutrition company, you can discuss health and nutrition companies and why the Sherlock's you know, a great fit compared to some of those. If someone's never done a network, you can then show them the power of leverage and learning residual income that they will get in a network marketing company like ours, which they won't get maybe from you know, their job or their career, because generally those jobs and careers don't pay residual income. When you leave that position, you, you, your earning stops. It doesn't with us. Our earnings can go on for decades. So the three-way calls are so, so important. So you edify your upline who you brought into the call, and you tell that upline who's on the call and what they've seen. That's it. Step back and get out of the way. Because if you start talking and answering all the questions, you're teaching that person wrong. So they must have seen the information as well. So if you do a three-way call, and this does happen sometimes, and you call someone and they've not even seen the video, they don't even know what questions to ask properly. So they go into all sorts of random things. It is so important that the person has seen at least the presentation or a webcast or something like that. Now, there's one proviso for that. You imagine you come across someone who's maybe a top networker and you think, oh, I want some help on this. Then, yeah, call your upline in you know, you know, to help organize the, you know, the call and get them through the tour. But the principle is... If you do it correctly, three-way calls will help build your business massively. Because if you think that system I've just shown you, that is so, so simple. You've told someone to get in front of a computer. You said, press play, press play, press play. When it's finished, you call someone else to answer the questions. That is it, guys. That is our business model. It is so simple. Anybody can do it if they stick to the system. Or what you can do is the other way is where you sit down and you try and explain the whole business to someone. And if you just joined on your first day, guess what? It's probably not going to come over correctly. You may make some errors. Use the tools that have been created to enable you to introduce the correct information so that prospect of yours can make an informed decision. So that same principle applies to the webcast. So if you build to say a, a Monday evening webcast, 8 p.m. UK time, you could say, Hey, hey, Darnell, hey, Sunil, hey, Matt, what are you doing tonight? Are you in at 8 o'clock? This could imagine you're talking to him on a Monday. 
Yeah, I am. What, what is it? Well, you know what? If I send you a link for an invitation-only webcast, I've come across something that's absolutely blown me away. And, I, and you're one of the sharpest people I know. So I wanted to speak to you first. I'm doing this. It's huge. I'm doing it with or without you. But I want you to get the information. If I send you a link for an invitation-only webcast, will you be on it? It's only about 25 minutes long. It starts at 8 p.m. They're going to be jacked up thinking, whoa, what's this guy on? What's he? He's excited about something. I'm curious. And I know he's in because he told me he was in at 8 o'clock. So, okay, I'll send you that link. And what I'll do is I'll give you a call when it's finished. Say about, I'll call you at half eight. It lasts about 25 minutes. What's the best number to get you on? Okay, yeah, call me on my mobile or call me on Skype or call me on the landline. Whatever they say is fine. But the principle is what I'm doing is I've booked another appointment. I've rang them up and I said, hey, are you in at eight? Yes. So I knew straight away to open the webcast. If they said no, I'd have said, when you're in front of the computer for sure. And I took them through the three-step talk. But let's say they're in at eight. Okay, I'll email you the link 10 minutes before. Make sure you're logged on so you don't miss any of it. And the room might fill up so you don't want to be locked out of the room. Okay, because sometimes we fill these rooms up. But I'm going to give you a call as promised and as agreed, you'll watch that presentation. Now, I've only got so many slots available to me. So I want to make sure you are on that webcast. Don't waste one of my slots. This is really important. So I'll call you at half eight. I'll chat them. And then the same principle happens when you give them a call. Has it all finished? Yeah. What did you like about it? I loved it for this. Okay, just hold the line one minute. Add in the upline. The system hasn't changed. All they've done is watch the live webcast instead of press play. But the principle is an invite. The principle is watch a presentation. The principle is a three-way call. So if you can do that, you can build a big, big business. Because what you're doing is letting other people do the work for you in a duplicatable system. So if someone's not got confidence or knowledge to pr prospect it or present live, just get, sit next to someone and say, hey, just hang on a minute, just press play, press play, press play, dial a phone number and hand the phone over while they're sat next to you. Again, use the simplicity of what we've created to build a huge organization. Now, the great thing is there's lots of live events. In Bedford on Tuesday, there was an awesome event, and there's going to be more of those. And As your teams grow, it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger, and it's going to spread internationally where you'll be sat there in Bedford, and there'll be maybe people in Bangladesh or people in the Philippines or in Norway or wherever doing events in your business. That is what's so powerful. At the time I'm recording this, there's somebody in my Czech Republic team doing a presentation to 15 networkers. Wow, that's leverage, guys. And I could be earning money right now as we're chatting away. But the powerful thing here is the same opportunities there for everybody. So we've got to just ramp it up. But think about these live events like you've just done. We've got a Super Sunday coming up real soon. They're every month. The date of the recording we're doing this now is the 6th of February. So we've got a Super Sunday, a week on Sunday on the 16th. Think about that. Get as many people to that event. First, it starts with an invite. Hey, what are you doing on the 16th of February? Are you around? Yeah. Oh, wow. I've come across something that's absolutely blown me away. Now, I went to an event in London Heathrow in January, and it was just amazing. The stories of so many people. I need you to come and see something. Are you available? I'll drive you down. I'll pick you up. I'll meet you there or whatever where the base of the may be local to, to where the events are. But the idea is you have a passionate invite. Don't just send an email saying what you're doing. You know, they can't read tonality. Ring them up. Pick up the phone. Guys, you need to be at this event. If you're in a team, you have to be there. Because when you get there, you'll realize how your business will explode from being there and having guests there. So these events are so, so powerful. So again, it's a live event where you've done an invite and you took a guest down. We do the presentations for you. As the presentations are done for you, we can then be stood next to your prospects answering your questions. Again, that is so, so powerful where other people do all the work for you. So if you think what I'm trying to coach here as a simple system is get people set up correctly and then use the correct tour to introduce it to those people. You do that, you're setting a foundation for success to build a huge business on. Now, the great thing there is I've kind of covered some of the ways we do on the three-step tours. We can do other trainings, guys, where we specifically gear into one section of this. But the invite is so powerful. Don't oversell. Don't tell them all about it. Don't spam people with links. Don't bung it on Facebook. Pick up the phone. Treat someone with respect. Arrange an appointment. You might even just say, hey, Sunil. Hey, Matt. Hey, Darnell. Hey, Tarek. Whoever. What are you doing on Tuesday? Can we hook up for coffee? Yeah, why? I've got something I need you to see. It's really powerful. So when we hook up for coffee, I'm going to show you something. What we don't do 
is give them a false sense where we say let's just meet for a coffee and then you get up pull out your laptop and say hey check this out yeah because they know the real reason why you've met them so call them because you're ringing about business i've got something you need to see now i'm not around today but i'm around tomorrow so i'm going to meet you on tuesday so what i want to do is hook about 10 o'clock can we meet for a coffee you come out mine i'll come to yours or a coffee bar or wherever but one thing i would say is don't travel big distances because you could travel for an hour someone might say oh i need to think about it travel an hour back you just spent two hours driving around and your business could have had a bigger growth by just hitting the phones for two hours. So get the bigger perspective on that. Now, talking about a big perspective, guys, now what we have with the Sherlock is an amazing opportunity company. I'm just going to click on this. This is this week's MLM rankings. Look which is number one. The fastest growing company right now in the world is the shopping Sherlock at the time of this recording. Think about where your place. You guys are already in your team members. Now you can either take advantage of the growth that we're having and work your butts off, if you pardon the expression, and go and build a business and generate an income and a lifestyle that you want, or you can sit back, talk to nobody, and watch other people do it. That choice is yours. This shopping Sherlock business is going to be huge with or without anybody on this call, including me. It's growing at pace. As you can see, that's why we're number one out of all these companies. And there's a lot more companies than that. But look at the one that's at the top, the Shopping Sherlock. And guess what we're in? The Shopping Sherlock. So, guys, this opportunity can change people's lives. It's changing people's lives now. The CEO, Michael Weeder, is an absolute visionary. And what he's doing with his company is building it to be a billion dollar company. A billion dollars. At the time of this, we're 20 months old. That is such an exciting place to be. Every single person on this webcast today, this evening, if you're watching it, recorded maybe in the morning. But the principal, everybody who's watching this webcast, who's in the Sherlock, has already joined the business. Now go and build it. Use the tool that I've just shown you. Make the biggest contact list you've ever done. And if you've already been speaking to people and you think you've gone through your contact list, build another one. It's so that you've got unlimited leads. Speak to your upline. I can show people that they can get more leads than they can call for free. But we only do that at a certain stage in people's businesses. So don't think if you're getting close to the end of your prospect list, your business isn't going to grow. I've sponsored people all around the world that are absolute strangers. And we're going to show you guys how to do that further down the line. But the principle here is we're going to build this to be a billion dollar company. Now, again, we're 20 months old. Some companies have been around for 20, 30, 40 years. People are joining them today. Reality, they're buying a job. They're going to have to work hard to generate an income month in, month out. With us, you can buy a, build a business, which is a legacy position. And what I mean by that is where you do all the work now for the next several years, but get paid for the next 10, 20, 30 years. This is my home for the next 20 years. No, no bones about that. I'm going nowhere. I'm building one company. You cannot beat the shopping Sherlock. We pay 68% compensation. There's other companies out there pay 31. As a percentage, that is huge. We've got no product that you've got to go and buy and sell to friends and family. You've got no product. You've got to post to somebody if you want to speak to someone on the other side of the world. Ours is free. We give it away and help people save time and money and benefit. And as they do that, we benefit as well. You don't get an easier message. This is the fastest build network you could be in. And guys, those of you who are on this webcast, you're already in. You've seen it. You're the sharp people. But you know what? Along the way, you're going to get some people who don't see it like you. You're going to get some people who don't realize we're going to be a billion-dollar company. You're going to get some people who don't realize we're building the biggest singular affiliate network anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world. That's what we're doing. It's attracting top industry icon earners to this company. The likes of Simon Brooks, who's been a full-time networker for 26 years, earned 11 million lives opposite Steven Gerrard. Think about this. Success leave clues. There's a reason he's in this company. He could build a big team in any company. There's a reason he's here. Done a million, not, almost a million with the Sherlock. And he'll make many millions moving forward. There's so many great people. The line you are in, 
you with the likes of Sunil, Darnell, with with Matt, with myself and Fraser and Simon, you've got the best support line in the world, in my opinion, in the shopping show. All the top people are in your group. Think about that. So use it and abuse it. Make sure you want to your uplines on a daily basis. If someone calls me using my team, if I sponsor someone, so if I sponsor someone, I say call me every day. You know what? If they don't call me, I know they're not really working the business. So I'd love a call every day. I get people that I've sponsored call me three, four, five times a day. And you know what? I'm glad I get their calls because I know they're working it. They're calling for help, support, three ways, questions. How can I build? What should I do here? Can we come to that event? All different questions. It's so, so powerful when you can do that. So guys, you're in the right company. We're number one, the fastest growing. We're in the right sector online Price comparison, online sales is getting bigger and bigger, and it's never going to go backwards because more and more people are shopping online than ever. It's in a sector moving forward at pace. We're moving on to the mobile market even more. Mobiles are growing huge. We're building a billion-dollar company, but you're in at the start. You're ahead of the wave. Some people say, oh, we've got a ground floor opportunity. Well, you know what? Ours is basement level. You're looking up at the ground floor. You are in so early. Now, take advantage of it because... Think of some of the big companies right now, your Googles, your Facebooks, your Ebays, your Amazons. The day they were created, no one had heard of them. Facebook's 10 years old. The day it was created, did you know Facebook 10 years ago? No, I didn't. But as it's grown out there, everyone knows it. The likes of Google, huge, huge company. People go online and say, Google it. Guess what? People go online now with a Sherlock and say, have you Sherlocked it? We've got a brand that people can use. Have you Sherlocked it? Go and Sherlock it. That is so powerful. One word says it. Go and find the best price on anything you ever want to buy. Don't go to those other search engines that put sites in the sites order that pays them the most. No. Get to the sites that pays you, that keeps the money in your pocket and pays you as well as distributors. So we've got a huge, huge opportunity here, guys. Let's not waste it. Make the most of it. So we've got also some surprises that we've got coming out real soon. We've got the very, very first um vegas convention there was a co corporate convention about a year ago in atlanta and it blew me away i flew to atlanta a year ago and it was absolutely amazing now we've got the next one coming up in vegas in three weeks and i'm flying over there for the convention i'm taking my whole family over there with me now the great thing here is you can build this business to live as a family my children are going to network with the top earners around the world, the company CEOs, and they're only young guys ranging between nine years old and 17. Yeah, so what a great position to be able to take those, and we're going to do that as a holiday as well. So it's not just about building a business. It's about building friendships. It's about building business relationships. It's about lifestyle. It's about experiences. And this business model, if you get your head around it, for me, is the best business model. Network marketing beats anything else. Think about most of it. People who get to 65, when if you did a survey from people leaving school, well, there was one done a few years ago. At 65 years old, they did a survey. Out of 100 people, as an average, let's say, I'll oh, take 100%, 96 people were, had either died within that period or were dead broke. They were skin. So they've worked 40 years, doing 40 hours a week, with a few weeks off a year building someone else's dream and 96% were broke or dead. Now, 3% were kind of just living okay. You know, they weren't taking charity or didn't have to, you know, live off family or churches. But, you know, their idea of a good day out is walking the dock because they're living on a pension, which is massively reduced generally than what they were earning. 1% are financially wealthy and free and can live the life of the dreams. Think about that, 1%. Where do you want to be at 65? Do you want to be dead or dead broke? For some of you, that might be 40 years away. Some of you might be less, some of it might be more, but just ask the question of yourself, where do you want to be when you're 45? Do you want to be sat behind the desk? I'm not knocking anyone who's got jobs, by the way. You know, everyone can do whatever they want. I'm just asking you a question to answer. Would you rather be sat down by a desk or, you know, sitting by a pool in Vegas when you're 45? This opportunity for those people gives you the chance to do what you want to do with your time. I wake up every day and I can choose what I want to do. Tomorrow morning, if I want to go and out, take it morning out, which I am going to take my wife for, you know, coffee in the morning, we go for lunches, we, we, we get a lot of time out. But the principle is we still work hard in the business. That's why I'm doing this presentation to, to help people realize it can give you freedom 
So if I wanted to take three weeks off in the next three weeks, I can do. But you know what? I won't. I'm just going to hammer this for the next several years and build a huge, huge global business that pays me for the next 20 years. And everyone on this webcast has got the same opportunity. So guys, I hope you've realized that there's a huge potential. There's a big picture with the shopping show up. Okay, guys, so we've kind of covered around about 40 minutes of content, which is what I wanted to do. So if you can, make, anyone's got any questions, if you want to type some questions down, and I'll get through as many as I can. And what I'm going to do, if I open all the mics, it opens up a lot of distortion. Matt, I've just opened up your mic. Are you there, Matt? Yeah, I'm here. What a fa fantastic uh, presentation. Excellent content. It's, it's, it's really, really good. Thanks so much. You're very welcome, Matt. I just wanted to say you guys are doing an awesome job in Bedford. Just wanted to have a quick chat with you while people are starting to type some questions down. So, guys, you'll have a little box where you've got your entrance box where you can show your hand. Just jot a question in there and click send and it'll come to me. And I can cover some key areas if you want. Now, obviously, all of you may not have a question, which is fine as well. So, if you've got no questions, we're doing a great job. But don't forget, you know, we're here there to support all of you. So Matt, obviously you've got a great team going. I know you had an awesome event there uh, over in Bedford with loads of people joining up, and I know there's lots more people coming on board, you know, over the next several days. Have you got any other plans of doing any any more events in Bedford? Yeah, we, we've actually uh, just booked a room today. As I discussed with you yesterday, Alan, we uh, we took the plunge and decided that your advice was good, and you know, it's always good. So we've booked a room for the 18th of Feb, so just under two weeks now, just two days after the Super Sunday. Okay, Matt. Well, guys, that's great. You've got literally you know, a short time to build the Super Sunday. That's coming up real soon. And then you've got the Bedford meeting again on the 18th. So I was talking before about taking action. You know, it's up to you whether you, what you do. No one's going to force you to do anything. You know, but don't watch this grow and watch other people you know earning a load of money because you'll kick yourself down the line. So what I want you to do is put those dates in your diary. Super Sunday, London, Heathrow, 16th of February. Get as many people there as you can. Also, we've got the, tr the next live event in Bedford on the 18th. That's a Tuesday. Pack that room out, guys. Grow that meeting one size to the next size to the next size. Have massive, massive growth. You know what? There's only a couple of questions coming through. I think a few people are still typing. Uh, what's the full? Hey, some great questions coming through. You know, what's the uh, fastest way to make full-time income in this opportunity? Do you know the best way to make income in this opportunity is speak to as many people as fast as you can. The best way to create wealth in network marketing is to get a large group of people to do a few simple actions over a long, consistent period of time. So what that means is, imagine if you've got a list of 10 people. If you've got a list of 10 people, and that, you know what, if you've got a list of 10, make it 250. Don't just work on 10. Make the biggest list as you can. So let's just say you've got a list of 10 people. And what you're going to do, you might say, well, I'm going to ring one person per week. Well, you know what? You're still going to ring all 10, but it's going to take you 10 weeks to do that. You're not creating momentum. You're not creating excitement. Now, you imagine if you did that first 10 people in one day. Let's say 20, 30 percent are going to join, and the other 70 might not see it, or it might be the other way around. It might be 70 percent join, and the other 30 percent don't see it. You get them all in a day. Think about that. The more if people you prospect in a quick time and then get your people to do the same, the faster your business is going to grow. The faster you do that, the best chance you've got of getting to the bigger incomes. I'll give you an example. When I first started, I did what I'm telling you. I, I wrote a list and I rang one, put the phone down, rang the next, put the phone down, rang the next, put the phone down. And I was saying to the first one, hey, you're the first one I rang. I just wrote a list of 250 people. I'm going to blast this out of the water guys so are you in or not you need to be quick because I'm speaking to people in 10 minutes in 20 minutes in an hour in four days you know the principle is I'm doing this long term but what that does it creates like an excitement and a sense of urgency for that person to join so if I said to you I've got a meeting with you now if you join I've got another one with a guy who's a top networker in Sweden in an hour if you join he could be potentially in your business is that a reason for you to join? Absolutely. If you get your head around that compensation plan, you know it's important to get in as quick as you can. 
So my best advice, if you want to build, you know, bigger incomes quickly, speak to more people. If you get a load of no's, great. You're going to get a load of yeses as well. But don't spread your list out over a long time. Literally sit on the phones every day for as many minutes as you can or hours as you can at the start of your business especially and then make relationships and build on from there. Now we've got another question here. Is there any books you know, that you know we'd recommend for people starting out? Yeah, there's some great books. There's one by Eric Worre. That's Eric Worre. I think it's W-O-R-R-E. And it's called GoPro. So that's an awesome book. So it's GoPro by Eric Warwick. And there's also a great, there's two other books I think are fantastic. One is by a guy called Robert Kiyosaki, and it's called The Business of the 21st Century. And he says, and this guy is one of the New York Times best-selling authors ever with his book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. In that one, which he produced well, probably about four years ago now, he said in the 21st century, which is where we are now, guys, that network marketing is going to be the biggest booming business to be in and the best business to be in. We're growing from strength to strength. So there's a couple. I'll, I'll just give you one more because obviously I can. I, if you want, guys, what I can do is I can, I can type a list because I've read that many. I can type a list, but there's a great one by Mark and Rennie Yarnell called Your First Year in Network Marketing. It's ideal for beginners, but for those people who have been in networking for a while, it's also ideal. Because it gives you back, remember, about the basics. So again, so there's three books, GoPro by Eric Rory. There's also uh, Business 21st Century by Robert Kiyosaki, Mark and Rennie Arnell, Your First Year in Network Marketing. Now, also, we've got some other, you know, what's my income goals? I'll tell you my honest income goal I set on day one is to earn 10000 a week. Yeah, 10,000 a week. So what I want everyone to do here, by the way, is on this list, after this webcast, in fact, write it down now. Write down what your income goal is. Now, I've not set a timeline. I want that as quick as you can because you can't control how fast your teams grow. You can control how many people you speak to. There's a big difference. So what I want you to do is set your goals for income as quick as you can. So write them down whether it's a weekly, a monthly, an annual, or it might be just saying, I want to earn my first $100 if you've only just joined. It doesn't matter what the goal is. Just set one. Write the list. And you might say also when you're setting these goals is think on income. That's great. But think on rank. So if you've just joined this week, you might say, right, I want to be power by the next Super Sunday. Or you might want to be global by a date further down the line. Set those targets and then you can work towards it and you can measure your performance against it. Give you an example. If someone says to me, Alan, I want to be power in two weeks and earn an extra $200 bonus. I go, great, but you're going to have to work that. You're going to have to work for it. So if someone wants to be power and they say, how many people are you going to speak to? I'll speak to one person every week. Well, you know, realistically, that's not going to get people to power. So the idea is, is when you write a target, make it achievable but make it a challenge, but then do the massive action it takes to get you to that target. So if you say, I want to earn uh, whatever you want to earn, whatever your goal is, there's lots of people on the webcast, it's going to be personal. Or if you say, I want to go power by a date, then think, for me to go power, I've got to personally sponsor four and build a team of 12. There's a minimum. You might have to sponsor six in that 12. So then you're going to have to sponsor four. Well, you're going to hit, have to hit the phones. You're going to need to speak to people. So you might say, I want to speak to so many people per day or I make so many calls per day, or so many presentations per day, because those are three different things. If I say I'm going to do 10 calls a day and I ring 10 people and not one's answered, do I think, hey, I've done my bit? Well, I haven't. I've rang 10 calls, but you know, they've not been answered. But what if I say I want to do two presentations a day or three presentations a day? Then that's measurable. So if, I've, if it takes me 30 calls to do it, I could do that as a target. Yeah. So the other thing is, and another question is coming through, we've only got the web room for a few more minutes, so I'll cover as many as I can. One of the things that when you're doing these is setting the times. So someone's put a message in, how should we divide our time for Sherlock tasks? Okay, first of all, what you need to do is think about what are the revenue producing activities. Now you can watch as many videos as you wish. That's great, but it's not going to earn you any money. You can, be the, you can be a course junkie and go to loads of seminars, but if you don't take action after it, it's not going to earn you any money. So the most income-producing activities in our business are prospecting when you're calling people. The follow-up is so, so important. That's when people, if you've arranged the time, you're getting their questions answered, you must follow up on people. Because you might speak to someone, and if you don't follow up, they may have wanted to join. you just blown your credibility with them. 
So follow-up is important. Attending events is key. Locking into the system is key. So in terms of dividing your time for Sherlock tasks, if I only had an hour, I spend as much of that hour prospecting as I could. Yeah. And as your team grows, I, it kind of switches. I spend a lot of time supporting now. Sometimes I'll be on a call for half an hour with one guy, and then the next guy's on for half an hour in three ways. Sometimes I have many hours in a day supporting team, which is great because it's all revenue-producing activity. It's follow-ups, three ways of revenue-producing activity. Making sure people know how to do the business, for me, is a revenue producing activity because you imagine everyone on this webcast you go you go and sponsor somebody tonight i'm earning money now let's make no bones about this but the powerful thing is so are you if i sponsor people and they're in my lines other people are earning money for me building the business it's the way we've all got the same comp plan company product everything's the same the only variable is the individual so how would i divide time i'd spend more time prospecting and watch the video and the training outside of your prospecting hours so what i normally do if, if I'm having lunch, sometimes if I'm not having lunch with my wife, I'll sit in front of the computer and I'll press some great training material, some some uh, networkmarketingpro.com videos, some uh, Jim Rome videos, some Tony Robbins videos. So if I'm having my lunch and a coffee, I'm feeding my mind. Yeah. So that's a great way where, where to learn and watch the education. Or maybe there's a webcast that we sent out that's recorded. It's 20 odd minutes long. Sit and watch it when you've got downtime, when you're not prospecting. You're eating food, you can't talk to people, but you can watch and listen. So prospecting for me is, is, is the key. The more people you speak to, numbers-wise, the more people you would join. Okay? Now, as you're speaking to a lot of people, you're going to get objections. There's another one here. What are the common objections you receive? Okay? Now, there's lots of common objections. and we've, We can actually do a whole training session, guys, if you want, on overcoming objections because it's very in-depth. But you get people saying, I don't have time. You get people saying, I don't have the money. You get people saying, oh, it's a scam. You get people saying, it's too good to be true. You get people saying, I don't know anybody who would do this. Think about those. Those are all limiting beliefs, stupid answers, really. And you know what? You may have had them in your head. You know what? But if you narrow that back down, someone says they don't have time. Oh, you've not got time to make a fortune. You know, everyone's got time. We've all got 24 hours. Why do some people in 24 hours earn a fortune and other people can't get a loaf of bread? We've all got the same number of hours. Everyone's got the same time. People can say they're busy. Yeah, but are you busy being successful? Yeah? So it's about thinking of ways you can overcome that objection. So obviously there's a bit more training time required to go in depth. But if someone says they've not got enough time, you can then flip that. You can say, okay, but so if time wasn't an issue, would you have done the Sherlock? They may say, yeah, it looks great. I just don't have the time. Well, okay, hypothetically speaking, if you were to do the Sherlock, what sort of income would you be looking to generate? You know, just hypothetically speaking, to, for you to decide whether to do it or not. Well, you know, I'd be looking, you know, just a supplement. I've got, you know, good, some good income, you know, maybe just an extra five, six hundred a month just to help out with some bills and some trips with the family. You know, that'd do me good. Okay, so, you know, if you could earn five, six hundred, you'd be interested. Yeah, okay, it would be. So if you were to do the show, you know, to get that, how many hours a week you'd be able to commit to it? You know, I know you say you're busy, but you know, but you know, are you busy being productive and earning from it? Well say, could you do four, five, six, seven, twenty hours? What's your number? It's your number. Well maybe I could do seven hours a week. Okay, so you know you think maybe you could fit in your current schedule seven hours a week and you want to earn about five or six hundred a month. Yeah, okay. Well doing seven hours a week, how many months could you commit to doing that? doing seven hours a week on a religious basis. Now, could you say four, five, six, ten, twelve? How many, how, many, how many months could you do seven hours a week to generate 500? Oh, okay, well, you know, I could probably you know, commit six months. I think you know, if I've done it in six months or 12 months, obviously it's their number. Okay, so then you just say, if I could show you a way just doing seven hours a week for about six months where you can generate that as an income, you'd be interested then, wouldn't you? There you go. That's what we call a presumptive close. I've just shown, they told me they can do seven hours. So, okay, well, why don't we do this? You, you, you know you can fit seven hours in a week. Let's get you started today, and I'll coach you on the way that you can build it. But the great thing is, with us, you can earn while you're asleep. And those seven hours don't have to be your own. You sponsor 10 people, do seven hours each. You've now got 70 hours a week going in your business in top of your seven. So you're now getting 77 hours in your business, which is probably more than you work yourself in a week. 
we have leverage. So there's ways you overcome every object, uh, objection. If someone says, I don't have the money, now there's different levels. You could have people who are older, people who are younger, and how you address that is different. Now, you may say, well, if it wasn't for the money, would you do the show? It's a great question. Well, yeah, I would. Well, okay, well, let's work on how we can get you the money. Is there any way you can put it on a credit card and let's go and earn the money before you have to pay it off? Is there any way you can borrow it off a family member? You know, let's get you in a position where if another opportunity come, if, if an opportunity like the Sherlock came along, you wouldn't have to turn it down just for a lack of money. Let's go and build a business together. So there's so many different ways you can build it. And you know what? Sometimes the people who are the busiest are the ones who build the fastest because they have to build in minutes. So they speak to as many people as quick as they can. So there's loads of objections, guys. I'm just mindful we've only got the room booked for five more minutes or so. So I'm going to cover a few more questions. But the principle, guys, is for every objection, there's a, a way to overcome that objection. And ask them questions. If someone says, oh, I think it's one of them pyramid things. Okay. Now, so just before I answer that, what, what do you think is a pyramid? But most people don't have a clue, you know, what the real definition is. Or they might say, I've heard of those Ponzi schemes. Okay, you know, before I answer that, what's a Ponzi scheme? Just so I know your understanding of what one is. And most people don't know what one is. So by you asking the question, then you, they, they, you know when they answer, they don't know. Okay, yes, yeah, so you, you know, you've got a story. Have you been involved in a scheme, a scam? You know, tell us your story. Let me know, understand, did you lose some money by going into something illegal? Yeah, that's crazy. You know, I'd never do that. Now, we're a network marketing company. You know, we've got a global business. We've got a CEO who's been in the internet space since 1994. We're a professional business. We're, we're actually noted as the fastest growing business in the world at the moment in our business model. You know, we're a powerful business model. And if you, I'll, what I'll do is I'll get you some information to help you understand the difference as well. But, you know, we are bona fide. We're a legal company. We, we're compliant you know, worldwide with our compensation plan. And our product helps many. We give it away for free. So, yeah, I can understand, you know, if you've, if you've got yourself into one of them scams before, you might be a bit wary. But you know what? Don't miss out on an opportunity just because you took, you know, a, a wrong turn somewhere along the line. So, again, loads of ways you can overject, overcome objections. Okay, so number one, what would you say if someone asks what you do in a couple of sentences? Okay, a great question. If someone says to me, Alan, what do you do? You know, I, I help people all around the world build a significant income from home. Yeah, you can choose what you want. I help people save a fortune on things they buy anyway. Would you like me to show you how you can do that? So you can really think about whether you're leading with the opportunity with the product. It can come from how the product comes. You know. What is it you do? Well, I'm, I'm building a global business. You know, it's online, and uh, we, we've got people all around the world that we're working with, with friends, to build a billion-dollar company. You know, we're working together with the same goal. So you, you can kind of everyone's different, and they join for different reasons. And again, you know, when when I first joined, and a lot of people I know said, "Well, Alan, you know, wh why are you doing the Sherlock? Because I want to earn a fortune. I'm in it for the money. You know, I'll be honest. I'm in this for the money. I can have the product for free." I'm building a business to generate an income. That's it, point blank. Business is about making money, guys. So let's get out there and make it. So some great questions there. We can really drill down further down the line and get some specific trainings. But I wanted today to be more like, because the group is growing so quick, duplication is so important. Get them started right. Auto ship. Show them how to build the binary. Get you know the compensation plan in head, the system, how to build the business using the three-step tour webcast, the invitation, the three-way calls that we do. Know the pitch and know you're in the right place. Know you're in a company that others, if they're not in, will look at us in a few years and go, wow, look what the Sherlock's just done. And the great thing, oh, we just had one other question just before I go, I've got a couple minutes, so I'll drop onto that. The great thing is you're in the right place, guys. How would get people signed up from countries that don't have debit cards? Now, there's different ways that people, if they haven't got debit cards, now, other people have sponsored people in where they've got the cash. So maybe they've done a transfer to the account and then they can pay in. There's other systems coming up as well, by the way, that the Sherlock are looking for, for markets that don't have debit cards. Or what has also happened, somebody might join somebody in a country where they do have an international credit card. Then they join somebody up on that same card. They give them the cash. But once someone joins the Sherlock distributor, if you think about it, you apply for a MasterCard. So you've got people in different countries that don't have international payment systems. They join the Sherlock. They can get one. They get an international payment system under the MasterCard, which is in over 220 countries. 
think about that. That's powerful. Okay, guys, we're popping up to 8 o'clock. I'm going to have to drop off because the web room will cut off, and I just want to make sure I say goodbye to everyone. Everyone, let's go and rock the Sherlock, guys. We've got a great opportunity. Now, let's not waste it. Get on those phones. Start building today. It's been a pleasure to speak to you today. My name's Alan Platt, global distributor with the Shopping Sherlock. Look forward to speaking to you real soon.